Hello everyone, so in this video I'll just be showing you all my rods and reels I have basically all the combos that are worth showing for so we're just gonna work our way from left to right uh, starting with this combo right here it is a Rapala Magnum it is a 7 foot 6 heavy action rod uh, it is it is my pike setup uh, especially if I'm throwing heavy crankbaits or if I'm uh, bait fishing for them um, uh, once again, in this video, I'll just be talking about these rods in general uh, and the reels, but I'll be making separate videos for every one of these combos here. Okay, and so on this, on that Rapella Magnum rod, I have a Shimano Sahara 4000. Uh, again, it's, it's not a very expensive reel, but Shimano definitely puts a lot of thought into what they make. And as you can see, I'll just spin that for you that goes forever even though it's only like an eighty dollar reel only for bearings that's all Shimano needs to make it that smooth okay uh, next comes my uh, bait caster combo it is it is the uh, Rapala walleye team issue rod I'll just uh, show you over here it has a pretty fancy design on it like as I go it's here's a split grip for more sensitivity there's a general uh, design on the rod here. Okay, yeah, so this is uh, mostly my pike and walleye setup for crankbaits. And uh, if I'm doing a little bit of trolling, it's, 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 a, it's a medium action rod, but it's probably one of my favorite combos that I have. And uh, on this combo, I have a Shimano, uh, Shimano Corrado a 201E7. And I'm just gonna zoom in onto that here. You can see that says uh, 201 E7 seven bearings. Seven bearing makes sense. Uh, the 201 E7 stands for it, that it's, it's a 200 size, and uh, the one stands for a left hand retrieve. And the E7 means it is a uh, seven to one gear ratio, which makes it a faster retrieve if you're bringing in crate that. Uh, crankbaits and other stuff and on that reel uh, just like on the Shimano Sahara here I have a 20 pound power pro line reeled, uh, reeled onto them uh, probably the best braided line you'll ever use okay so next comes the Shimano Crucial uh, honestly for this rod I don't have a reel yet but it's a really nice rod it's uh, it's, it's really strong sensitive perfect for jigging or uh, throwing smaller uh, crankbaits or jigs anything uh, I haven't picked a reel for it yet but I definitely will it has a clicker reel holder here so it's nice and fancy six foot six medium light perfect for what we need around here in Alberta okay so next comes the St. Croix Abbott six foot six medium light it's a very similar rod to the Shimano Corrado. Uh, I like this one a little bit more because, because it, this one's a two-piece. The Crucial is a one-piece, so uh, the Avid is a little bit easier for transportation. Uh, again, an awesome rod. Uh, I love the handle on it. It's really, uh, really comfortable, sturdy, won't break, right? And probably one of my favorite jigging com combos I've ever used. Again, I didn't uh, get a chance to pick a nice reel for it yet, so I'm just uh, running a cheap Shimano Sienna 2500 on it. Again, only four bearings, but it's it gets the job done. The the drags uh, the drag is pretty solid on it. I haven't had any issues with it yet. Okay, uh, so our next combo here is the Shim uh, sorry the Fenwick HMX over here. Uh, I don't know if you have, uh, you're familiar with uh, Fenrix. I mostly use uh, Fenrix for trout fishing. Um, it's a really nice rod. As you can see right now, it's a pretty slow action. So it's perfect for throwing uh, smaller stuff like small spoons for trout, small spinners. Uh, I, I, I've, I've thrown even small flies on it before and it works quite well. And uh, it's a 7 foot 6, uh, medium light. So again, gives you a lot of uh, casting ability and I've honestly because of the slower action on it like I'm showing you right now 
uh, I've used this rod for walleye fishing actually at Traverse Reservoir and it performed very well when I was uh, uh, just bottom bouncing and using a slip weight for them so it was fantastic but mostly this is my trout rod I prefer a jigging or crankbaiting for walleye so anyways on this rod I have a Shimano Symmetry 3000 it is an awesome reel uh, probably the best uh, best spinning reel I own not not the best one from the Shimano series but I absolutely love it uh, it's uh, I think it's like five bearings but it's definitely a step up from the Sahara and the Shimano Sienna uh, perfect reel uh, haven't had it, any issues with it whatsoever uh, love it love it love it very comf very comfortable handle on it and on it right now as you can see is the new Sh uh, Shimano Power Pro Super Slick 8 uh, it's probably the best braided line I've ever used so far it is better than the Power Pro that I'm using in all of my other reels over here as you can see uh, what they did is they put uh, eight fibers and weaved them together as opposed to four four fibers like they did in the previous in the previous uh, Power Pro Power Pro lines. So that's just 15 pound. Again, perfect for walleye. Uh, perfect for uh, casting spinners and spoons in the Bull River or anything like that. Love this combo. Again, nice, very nice handle, uh, good grip, very comfortable. Love this rod. Okay, so uh, next comes my uh, last spinning combo that I'm going to show you today. It is the Fenwick Eagle GT, uh, six foot six light. Um, it's uh, I mostly use this uh, combo for uh, creek and small river fishing for trout. Uh, there's really nothing else you can use this for other than maybe whitefish or anything like that. Uh, again. Very nice, uh, very nice handle. Fenric uh, kind of puts a good emphasis on their design. Again, I'm just going to zoom in onto here. You will see that it has a their logo and uh, yeah, love it. And uh, same with the the HMX. Okay, and uh, on this combo here, I have a. Uh, Rapala R-Type reel, which is pretty surprising because it's actually uh, an ice fishing reel, but the size of it is pretty much perfect for what I'm, what I'm doing with this combo. And again, on there I just have the regular Power Pro 8-pound uh, line. Very smooth line, great for casting. I I love this combo. Like I like to take it uh, fishing to the mountains or any of the small creeks around southern Alberta. Okay, so we're done with all my uh, spinning and bait casting combos. So now I have two fly rod combos for you. Uh, they are both Echo Solos. This one, and uh, let me just zoom in onto that. The Echo Solo nine foot six weight line, and uh, the Echo Solo eight foot six four weight line. So uh, the the six weight uh, six weight fly rod is what I use on the uh, Bull River in Calgary, or uh, any of the other rivers like the Crow's Nest or uh, the Old Man, any of those. Unfortunately, we don't get to go there till June sixteenth, I believe. Uh, but anyways, it's a it's a bit of a slower action rod than some of the higher end rods, uh, which which is great for a beginner fly fisherman like me I mean for the amount of fly fishing I do this is a perfect combination and what I have here is a uh, is a reel it is the Gray's GX 300 it's a very smooth reel uh, it was only like 60 bucks but all metal very simple uh, it's really hard to break I mean we've gone through beating there's a few scratches on the bottom as you might notice but uh, again, love this combo. I've caught lots of trout on it. It's perfect. And uh, my last combo that I'll show you today is again the Echo Solo rod. Again, pretty flimsy. Uh, great for creek fishing or mountain lake fishing if you're using flies. I absolutely, uh, absolutely love that one bec just because of how delicate you can do your presentation. And on it, I just have a uh, cheap Fenric fly reel. You don't really need a really good fly reel for if you're just doing some. Uh, 
trout fishing in the mountains uh, because you don't really need a drag you're mostly stripping stripping the fish in but anyways that those are uh, all of my rods and reels that are in this video i hope you enjoyed it please like comment subscribe and i will be making individual videos for all of these combos thank you have a good one